Alright Fit Fam, what's going on? Um, today we're going to be working chest workout. Um, specifically when I do my chest, I like to jump in and do split it into different days. But for today's video, we're just going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of what we like to do as far as our favorite exercises for every part of the chest. Um, starting on our first exercise, we're just going to go into a simple warm up. Um, slow, light, weight. Probably going to hit about three sets, 12 to 15. Um, we're going to be right here on this plate loaded um, incline press. It's slow, steady. Um, just work on really exhausting the fibers and just getting that good stretch. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna jump into our very first exercise. Um, we're gonna be hitting our upper chest, um, going straight into a, an in-kind press here on the bench. Uh, we're gonna be using the dumbbells. Me, personally, I love working with the dumbbells. It gives me a chance to strengthen some of my other muscles as far as stabilizing the weight. Try to shoot between 10 to 12, at least. We're gonna be jumping straight into our superset from here. Um, but first, we wanna go ahead and 10 to 12 here. Uh, at least three to four sets, that's what we're gonna go for. What's up guys, it's Jonas Jaitris with Warrior Fuel, we're back again. We're gonna go straight into dumbbell incline and uh, I'm gonna go gradually increase the weight the whole time. I'm gonna aim for a minimum of 10, but I'm not gonna quit until I uh, pretty much hit my failure point right now. Um, we're also just gonna superset with the same thing Sammy's doing on this one. So we just hit the incline dumbbell press. We're gonna jump straight into the play loaded machine with our superset. Um, instead of just like a warm up when we hit two arms, we're gonna focus on an ISO. That's why I really like this ISO machine because you can go ahead, lighten the weight, and hit one arm at a time, really focusing all the tension on the one side of that chest. All right guys, now we're on to our, uh, we're gonna do incline dumbbell fly now. So we busted out our first set. With a superset, as you guys saw, get the blood really flowing in there, gorged. Now we're not gonna go crazy heavy on this weight, and we're just gonna squeeze. We're not gonna go overextend on the bottom, we're gonna stay right at a good motion, even with our shoulders, and squeeze at the top. We're finished up on our last and fourth set here, on our dumbbell flies. We slowly increased the weight, started out with 30, 40s, and the last two set on the 50s. Um, one thing, I know me personally, I have a little trouble on this here. Going a little too low and overextending out of the chest range to where I'm putting pressure on my shoulders. Um, one of the main reasons I love having a spotter here is that I'm gonna have Jonas actually watch me to make sure my elbows don't extend below where they should go to keep all the pressure on my chest. One other thing I really wanna emphasize on these workouts, we're doing our best to shoot these exercises in real time as if we're really working out while we're doing this. So remember that we keep the rest to a minimum. Uh, we probably have about 10 to 15 seconds in between these reps. Pretty much right when he gets off, I'm jumping right onto my sets. Bam, bam. High intensity, fast pace. Keep it moving. Here, so we're moving on to our third exercise. And we're gonna be transitioning to just your basic flat bench. We're gonna shoot for four sets. Um, shoot for at least 10 on these reps. You notice that we're gonna be doing this and this in the Smith machine. Just reason is because we've exhausted our muscles a lot on the other workouts, so we want to make sure that we keep the perfect form. Um, Smith's so machine just makes sure that we don't overexert ourselves in any way that we don't need to. Um, we're going to slowly increase the weight throughout the reps as well. So we're working closer to the end of our workout. It's gonna be going into our fourth exercise here. It's gonna be type of an inverted underhand fly. I'm gonna be demonstrating it here with the cables. Me personally, I like it just because there's more of a tension coming down as well as going up. All right guys, what I just did there is single arm, uh, kind of inverted fly. And you're gonna just bring it like a reverse grip and you're gonna bring it up across your chest. And uh, it's really gonna hit your upper chest and your striations across the middle. And uh, yeah, it's a place I'm lacking. So it's been good to me the last little while. So give it a shot, see what you guys think.
All right, so we're finishing out our chest workout. Um, it's gonna be a last day here. I'm gonna be knocking mine out, uh, my burnout here with this bar. You use this bar for a lot of things. I like to do a lot of shoulders on here, but today I'm gonna be emphasizing chest on it. You really wanna focus on the motion here while you're pressing, as far as squeezing your hands together and really focus on pressing outwards more so instead of pressing up, because it's really easy to move into that shoulder motion if you're putting tension on your shoulders. So just really focus on the motion. Um, watch the striations here, because you'll be able to see what part of the chest is actually working on there. Um, just really focus. This is a great one to burn out on, as long as you're doing it right. Focus on lighter weight. You don't need a lot of weight on this at all. Uh, finish out strong, let's go. All right guys, I just did a kind of a pressing motion. It simulates a push-up. It just gives you a little bit of a different squeeze. I'm just trying to build the bottom teardrop on uh, each side of my pec, a little bit on the inner middle chest. It's able to do like a little bit less than body weight so you can squeeze harder. A lot of places don't have these machines. You can do them in a, in a variety of different ways. But if you guys do have this, people might look at you funny, but it works, I'm telling you. All right, we're going straight into triceps now, guys. And uh, we're going to start with a normal warm-up for the elbows. We're pretty warm, so we're going to kind of go right into our working sets. Um, we're just doing straight push-downs. We're using the uh, bar, not too much, just a little bit, something you'd normally use for curls. Just kind of takes the pressure off the wrist. We're just going to do four sets of 10 to 15, and uh, then we'll go into something a little more complicated. We're just increasing the weight as we're going, so each time just add a bit, but make sure your form stays perfect. I can't tell you enough about that. Everyone thinks, oh, I'm going to blast this weight. Just keep your form good and you'll get bigger every time. Jumping in our second exercise on our triceps. Um, we're gonna be jumping into an incline bench skull crusher. A little bit slimmer than shoulder width on the graph. Down slow, up slow, really focus on the motion. Like Jonas said before, don't need a ton of weight to get that muscle to pop. Uh, we're gonna be shooting for uh, four sets, 10 to 12. doing uh, some dumbbell kickback. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the weight. This is more of a controlled movement. Yeah, it's just a real tight squeeze at the top. Slow on your uh, eccentric motion. You get better results. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me and Sammy today on our chest and try adventure. Um, keep following us on Warrior Fuel. WarriorFuelSupplements.com. We're going to be uh, doing a lot more workout next time. I think we're going to be doing some legs as requested. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Jonas Jaitris. Yeah, just like you said, thanks for following us. Had a great workout. One thing I want to emphasize again, just remember these, these workouts are high intensity, so very minimal rest in between. Um, bam, bam, bam. If you're working out with a spotter, have them spot you. Jump on right as soon as they get off. Um, like I mentioned, we're going to be posting a lot more videos. WordFuelSupplements.com. Um, go ahead and leave some comments as well, because there's spots where on the website where you can leave comments if there's any specific exercises or muscles you'd like to see uh, us train on. Um, Instagram's Mr. Sammy C.